guys, it's me, Brandon, and today I want to talk to you about the Shield of Faith. The Shield of Faith is part of the spiritual armor of God. We use the armor of God to protect us from attacks of the enemy. So far, we talk about the helmet of salvation, which is the spiritual helmet we get from God when we accept Jesus as our Savior. Then we talk about the breastplate of righteousness and how our righteousness acts like a breastplate. When we tell the truth, we have to tell the truth. The shoes of the gospel of peace help us share the good news of Jesus to other people. In the old times, the Roman soldiers had big shields that covered their entire bodies. Just like them, we Christians have a spiritual shield, our faith. Faith is trust or belief in something or someone. We should always have faith in God and in His Word, the Bible. Let me tell you a Bible story about a person who had faith in God. There once was a man named Joshua who had to lead a group of people, the Israelites, through the desert until they reached the Promised Land. God led Joshua to Jericho, a city that had high walls. At the base of the city, there was a retaining wall 12 to 15 feet high. 46 feet above, there was another wall 26 feet high and 6 feet thick. It was humanly impossible for Joshua and the Israelites to enter. But God gave Joshua a plan. God told Joshua, God told Joshua and his army to march around the city of Jericho for seven days. After marching on the seventh day, the army would have to blow the trumpets and shout in victory. If they did that, God promised the mighty walls of Jericho would fall. Joshua had faith in God, and he led God's people, the Israelites, on a seven day march. On the seventh day, Joshua and his men went out of cry, and Jericho's wall fell down. Just like Joshua, we should have faith in God. So take up your shield of faith and always believe in God and His Word. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!